And tonight, a story of coming together through food. Not only does food allow us to be exposed to new flavors, but the cultures themselves. And that's what Caribbean restaurant owners want you to experience as Black Restaurant Week is now underway and as Caribbean heritage wraps up. Tonight, Eyewitness News race and culture reporter Crystal Cranmore explores the cuisine and its rich history. Caribbean food in itself, it's the flavor, the spices. Uh, Haitian food for me is all about the essence of staying true to what it is with the French, Spanish, obviously the African culture as well. Fred Raphael, the owner of Rebel Restaurant, has been bringing a piece of his culture to the Lower East Side since last August. In 2020, with the pandemic, uh, opened another opportunity to be able to kind of bring to the forefront Haitian food, Caribbean food. The cuisine now available at a lower price point for New York City's Black Restaurant Week. About a dozen Caribbean restaurants are participating. A tasteful end to Caribbean American Heritage Month. So right now we're trying the goat tasso and fried plantain. Magnifique. Rebel gets a variety of customers. It's a mixture of everyone. They wanted to experience something different. And Black Restaurant Week certainly helps with the exposure. So this one is a curry shrimp. Over in Brooklyn, where the taste of curry reminds me of my own childhood, the owner of Tilly's has plans to expand. The sky is the limit for Tilly's. But it's tough on the city's culinary stage. People still think of Caribbean food as the regular jerk chicken and stew chicken. Nearly two million New York City residents can trace their roots to the region. Caribbean food has so many valence Culinary historian Dr. Jessica Harris is the author of High on the Hog, which looks at the culinary journey from Africa to America. Those enslaved Africans and their descendants were in the kitchens. And in the kitchens, they were foundational at creating the foods of this country and certainly also this hemisphere. Back in Lower Manhattan, Black Restaurant Week serves to uplift a community hit hard by the pandemic. It's just not about the food, it's about the culture, it's about the artwork. It ends July 4th. Crystal Cranmore, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.